viewers, I'm going to begin with a few questions tonight. What would you call a party that woos voters but doesn't respect them? What would you call a party that wants to win the trust of the voters but when they don't vote for it, turns to insulting their intelligence? I want you to think about these questions, ruminate over them. As I report to you, the big development of the day. In Varanasi, the Prime Minister has torn into Congress General Secretary Rahul Gandhi for his rather off-colour utterances against the youth of Varanasi who have supported the BJP's message. A few days ago, you might all recall viewers, the Congress scion had implied that Uttar Pradesh's youth, in particular, youth in Kashi, presumably seduced by the BJP, were left adrift by the party to drink themselves senseless. Listen in views. शराब पिए, शराब पिए, सड़क पे लेटते हुए, बाजा बज रहा है, यूपी का भविष्य रात को, शराब पिए, नाच रहा है, डांस कर रहा है, नशे में, वो कह रहे हैं और काशी की धरती पर आके कह रहे हैं, काशी के नवजवान, यूपी के नवजवान नशेड़ी है ये कैसी भाषा है भाई मोदी को गाली देते देते तो इन्होंने दो दशक बिता लिए लेकिन अब ईश्वर रूपी जनता जनार्दन पर यूपी के नवजवानों पर ही ये लोग अपनी फ्रस्ट्रेशन निकाल रहे हैं जिनके अपने होश ठिकाने नहीं है वो यूपी के मेरे काशी के बच्चों को नशेड़ी कह रहे हैं अरे गौर परिवारवादियों काशी का यूपी का नौजवान तो विकसित यूपी बनाने में जुटा है अपना समृद्ध भविष्य लिखने के लिए परिश्रम की पराकाष्ठा कर रहा है इंडी गठबंधन द्वारा यूपी के नौजवानों का पान कोई नहीं भूलेगा। Sadly, this isn't the first time that Hindi Belt voters have been villainized for voting the Bharatiya Janata Party. Last year, senior Congress leader and trusted Gandhi acolyte Randeep Singh Surjewala broke a cardinal rule of democratic politics, which is never attack the voter. Randeep Singh Surjewala, bless him, did just this when he had a go at BJP voters for backing the Modi-led NDA over these last nine years. He said, viewers, it's right on your screens, the people of BJP and Jan Nayak Janta Party are Rakshas and those who vote for the party and support them are also Rakshases. Now, viewers, a little later on the day, the Telangana results were declared. Close Rahul Gandhi aide and prominent Congress party member Praveen Chakravarti lit the spark by dog whistling against North Indian voters. His tweet implied that Southern voters were more sophisticated than their allegedly boorish Northern counterparts. He was, of course, only echoing Rahul Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi's sentiments. Rahul Gandhi said, viewers, in February 2021, for the first 15 years, I was an MP in the North. I had got used to a different type of politics. For me, coming to Kerala was very refreshing. As suddenly, I found that people are interested in issues. Viewers, as if the voters in the north or any other part of this country are not interested in issues, they are only interested in tamasha. Viewers, Rakshasas in Hindu mythology, even a child knows, are cast as deplorable creatures unwilling to play by the rules of ethical and civilized behavior.
But can that be summarily said about the NDA's voters, about BJP voters? A shade under 45% of all eligible 650 million voters re-elected Narendra Modi in 2019. These included record numbers of marginalized tribals, Mahadalits and the indigent, including the middle class, the new middle class, some of you viewers. Are you all Rakshasas? What's more, they weren't confined to just the Hindi heartland. That the Congress and its allies have allowed this tirade free reign is a serious omission. The hateful slander directed at voters exposes a disturbing, undemocratic impulse. Rather than insulting the BJP voter with offensive appellations like Rakshas, Chotiwala Rakshas, Andhbhak, Sangi, and even the particularly odious Musangi, elements in the opposition, particularly the Congress, especially India's grand old party, could objectively ask themselves why voters across class and caste segments have gravitated towards the BJP in increasing numbers in 2019. If they do an honest audit, they might yet chance upon a telling reason, and by no means the only one. In a span, viewers, of just five years, the BJP managed to directly reach crores of marginalized Indians, irrespective of region, irrespective of caste and creed, by announcing targeted welfare schemes using digital technology, cutting out the middleman. What the UPA couldn't do, the NDA did. In 2013, 2014, under the UPA, nearly 11 crore beneficiaries received. Rupees 7,367 crores directly into their bank accounts under 28 schemes. In sharp contrast, by 2018 2019, viewers in just 4 5 years, under the NDA, nearly 76.3 crore beneficiaries received more than 2 lakh crores in their bank accounts and over 1 lakh crore in kind under 434 schemes. These Labharthis aren't hanging on to the BJP because they have mainlined, as the opposition says, the opium of hate, of Hindutva, of other various ideologies. But because, viewers, they are increasingly finding that their basic needs are being met like never before. This is exactly what is happening. Voters just don't elect people because they like the way they dress, they look, they talk. Some might, but a vast majority don't. The NDA got almost 50% of the vote in 2019. Viewers, think about this. As I bring to you Rahul Gandhi's response now to what the Prime Minister has just said. Rahul Gandhi has tweeted, and I quote, from Lucknow to Prayagraj, youth are on the streets over the police recruitment paper leak and just 100 kilometers away from there in Varanasi, the Prime Minister is misleading the youth in the name of the youth. Viewers, let's open this up. Let's open this up. You want the voter to vote for you. You want the voter to respect you. But if you don't respect the voter, viewers, if you don't trust the voter, then you are not even democratic. The fundamental question I'm posing, let's go straight across and ask it, viewers. Let me go straight across to Mr. Jindal today. We also have with us another leading intellectual light, Sujat Ali, leader of the Congress, with us. We have with us Varis Pathan, spokesperson of the AIMM, and we will be joined by the BJP spokesperson very shortly. Mr. Jindal, the cardinal rule in democracy is to never insult the intelligence, the wisdom of the voter, never cast any sort of aspersions. Look within. So these drunkards that you are referring to, are these drunkards also in the Northeast by logical extension? Are they also those who voted for the BJP in Telangana? Are they also the 13 or 14 percent who voted for the BJP in Kerala? Are these drunkards? Even the 5 or 6 percent that voted for the BJP in Tamil Nadu are these drunkards in Bengal also, sir, and in the Northeast and in the West. How can you today describe viewers, 
and votaries of the Prime Minister and the BJP as drunkards. If you have no respect for their choice, how can you call yourself democratic? My fundamental question to you, sir. Good evening, Rahul. Well, another cardinal principle of democracy is that truth always prevails. Oh. Now look at Uttar Pradesh excise generation. Uttar Pradesh, which had an excise revenue generation of rupees 14,000 crore in 2017, it spiked up to 42,500 crores from liquor under the reign of Yogi Adityanath Ji. My question is, Yogi Adityanath Ji demonstrate himself in front of the media that he has banned liquor, he has banned meat in Uttar Pradesh. But please explain me, how is this excise revenue rising? Right. And today, by all parameters, as per the data by the RBI, UP is the liquor capital of India. It has surpassed Karnataka. It has surpassed all the states with a compounded average growth rate of more than 19%. I don't think that liquor is used for manufacturing. Okay. I don't think that liquor in any way is used for any other activity except for destroying the future of the youth and also their families. Okay. So, when so you are saying Uttar Pradesh has seen a spike in alcohol consumption. That is what yes. you are saying, Mr. Jinder. Yes, certainly. And when Rahul and that Gandhi is why says, that is why Rahul Gandhi is right. Absolutely. Okay. Absolute now thing. hold your thoughts. Can I uh, can yeah. I now point yeah. out certain facts to you, sir? Yes, please. Okay. Viewers, in my hand is a report filed by Money Control, which is, of course, the most read financial daily today. And viewers, let me tell you that you'll be surprised to know this, that the highest liquor consuming state, that is people between the age group of 10 to 75, is Chhattisgarh, where the Congress was in power till just about three months ago. This is Mr. Jinder's logic. The second one is Tripura, then comes Punjab, then comes Arunachal, then comes Goa, then comes Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Uttar Pradesh, then comes viewers and Uttar Pradesh is not very much higher than Haryana or Delhi or even Uttarakhand, Daman, Diu, Madhya Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh. All of these states, viewers, are in the top 10. The lead one being, of course, Chhattisgarh. Aisa nahi hai, sir, ki ye sare botle, sharaab ki, saat din mein logo ne peeli, after the BJP came to power. Maybe they were celebrating. I can no, no, quite no, imagine no, no. them celebrating I, that the BJP no. has won. What are you I saying, am, Mr. Jindal, today? Aap kya I bol rahe? Am, if I am wrong in the data that I am presenting, please expose me and make I am, me I am, the I, am, I, am, I am exposing you. I am saying that, that by your logic, Chhattisgarh must be the most... No, no, hang on. Chhattisgarh must be the most... Chhattisgarh, sir, where you have been in power with a massive majority till just two months ago. Must have yes. been one of those states where the youth had nothing to look forward to except for the bottle. Wait, 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 Rahul, please uh, expose me. And I am exposing uh, you. If I am wrong on the data front. Are you under me. any illusions? Hasn't there been a three-fold <laughs> increase in Uttar Pradesh revenue oh excise God. from Uttar? Isn't the Uttar Pradesh government now relying for 22% of its revenue from liquor policy? Right. Oh do you way. know, do you know, sir, in Punjab, by that example, in Punjab, a movie was made called Urta Punjab, where you yourself have said, your own leaders have said, drug abuse is an all-time high. So when, when you were in power, excuse me, let, let me finish. When Captain Amrinder Singh was in power at that time, when he was still with the Congress party, he flagged this problem. Am I to assume that it was because the Congress's governance there was so wretched? that people in depression started injecting themselves with heroin. I'm asking you this question, sir, in all honesty. What are you saying? Uttar Pradesh you, are drawing a, you are drawing a causality between bad governance and increase in liquor. 
No, Uttar Pradesh government started a e-lottery system. Now you know, we was just look at this man's la logic. Look at this man's logic. Bihar went dry to the bone. Supposedly, viewers, look at this man's clever logic. Bihar, under the JDU, under the JDU BJP, decided to prohibit alcohol. Then came the great partnership of the JDU with the RJD and the Congress Party. If you please, it was still dry. Have you seen the indices of Bihar on a large number of indexations like employment, viewers, especially amongst the urban youth? Rahul, are we what are you saying? Of Uttar Pradesh? Are we justifying Rahul, a state that is, reviving, that is deriving revenue from liquor excise policy? Are you over here justifying... Sir, you are, you are supporting the Aam Aadmi Party that came out with a liquor policy in which three of its top leaders are in jail. Are you supporting the no, no, lice affair in liquor business in Delhi? I am asking you this question. No, 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 we are not supporting. Come on. Okay, let the BJP also come in. Okay, Mr. Jindal, Mr. Jindal, don't do this to yourself tonight on national TV. People are looking at you and they are wondering what kind of foolish questions you are posing to me. You are saying that I am supporting the consumption of liquor or the raising of state resources from excise when your party, the Congress party, is signing an alliance deal with the Aam Aadmi party that actually brought in lice affair. Liquor sales in Delhi. Threefold increase. Do you know what? What nineteen percent? What are you saying? Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. I'm. I'm. I'm at fault. Uh, it is very bad to lay to raise money through liquor. Terrible. Will you ask Rahul Gandhi tomorrow to come out and tell Kejriwal to cancel and prohibit liquor completely in Delhi? Will you? Should he? I'm asking you, Mr. Jindal, should the no, Delhi government be raising money through liquor? Yes or no? No, I want to say if... No, you answer my question. No, no, no. If, if, if you are, you know, you are projecting yourself as a religious seer. If you are projecting yourself... I am projecting as myself as a seer. <laughs> okay, okay. Today, today, I think, today, I think there's something very, there's something very wrong going on here. Okay, I, I'm not clearly, sir, today... I am not clearly today, I am not clearly today uh, as intoxicated by my own thoughts as you are. It's quite clear, <laughs> sir. So let me, let me be sober tonight. I will, I, will, I will just be intoxicated by the facts. Viewers, this gentleman says first, and I want, uh, I, I want the BJP national spokesperson, because she missed the first two minutes of this show, to respond yes. to three points that he has made in all his wisdom. The first point he says is that look at Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh has seen the greatest spike in excise liquor sales. Number one. That means that there is a big problem in that state. That means that people are drinking themselves silly and Rahul Gandhi is right. Number two, viewers. He says, if you are criticizing me on this point, then do you endorse revenue earnings by the state on the back of liquor sales. So I asked him, then why is the Congress party supporting the Aam Aadmi party in Delhi that opened vastly the sale of liquor and made it available in every shop almost. And of course, three of its great leaders are in jail today. Some of them denied <laughs> bail for over a year. I'm not... Happy about that, viewers, but I'm just saying, there's a facts. And thirdly, by his logic, Chhattisgarh, which has the highest consumption of liquor and obviously revenues from liquor around the country, therefore, which was under the Congress for five years till just two months ago, must be the worst in its economic sweepstakes. These are the three points I want you to respond to, Sanju Varma, okay. tonight. Thank you. Uh, first and foremost, Rahul, my apologies uh, for coming in a tad late. I was just getting done with the recording elsewhere. That's okay. Um, you know, uh, very engaging debate. And uh, uh, I'm a tad intoxicated, as intoxicated as one can get after having a glass of buttermilk, which I had <laughs> before <laughs> coming on your show. Uh, that's on a lighter note. Uh, but on a more serious note, 
Uh, I have this to say. They might I object. Data. They might say if you <laughs> drank Amul milk, then you are imposing Amul, the brand all across the country, which is also a form of imposition. They will say this. So I warn you, uh, don't Rahul, use I butter. I must say that you are you are a crystal ball gazer because I actually had Amul butter milk. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. I know you people very well. <laughs> yes. Okay. So yes, I'm not uh, you know here as a brand marketer from Amul. Uh, now on a more serious note. Uh, you know, I have this to say, Rahul, you gave some very interesting data and I also have some data with me. I don't believe in this north-south divide uh, and I believe that, you know, if you're uh, levying uh, excise uh, within the bounds of law on alcohol consumption and uh, garnering revenues, uh, which is what most states are doing, uh, so be it, unless and until you're a Manish Sisodia uh, who wants to uh, encourage a certain cartel by way of a, quo, a, a quid pro quo. Now, I have the data for alcohol consumption just for two states and non-alcohol, simply beer consumption. It says that alcohol consumption per capita in the state of Tamil Nadu in South India is the highest at 13.2 litres. Beer consumption per capita in Tamil Nadu is 1.5, 15.6 litres. And these are the latest figures when it comes to Telangana which is now ruled by the Congress and by the way, Tamil Nadu is also ruled by a Congress ally, the DMK. Now coming to Telangana, uh, you know, freshly uh, uh, minted uh, by Revan Reddy of the Congress, 10.7 litres per capita is the alcohol consumption in Telangana and 11.4 litres is the per capita beer consumption in Telangana. So, Bhai Sahab, 11.4 litres per capita beer consumption in Telangana, 15.6 litres beer consumption in Tamil Nadu, 13.2 litres alcohol consumption in Tamil Nadu, 10.7 litres alcohol consumption in Telangana, amongst the highest in India and certainly the highest in the southern part of India. So for you, Lokesh, to sit here and wax eloquent okay. about the fact that Uttar Pradesh mein log pite hai, isle Rahul Gandhi ne sab Varanasi vasiyon ko aur Uttar Pradesh ke nivasiyon ko nasheri keh diya. That is as bizarre as it can get. But my more important point is this. Okay. I have noticed this particular inclination amongst Congress uh, spokespersons and Rahul Gandhi's acolytes, retainers, darbaris, what you will. They engage in this game of semantics. They say, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan ko naachne wali nahi bola. Sir, bola wo naachti hai. There's a difference between naachne wali, which is derogatory, but saying somebody to naachti hai is not derogatory. It is like Rahul Gandhi saying, Hinduism is kosher, but Hindutva means bloodthirsty saffron ideology. Today they are doing the same with this entire alcohol related controversy. Now for the benefit of your audience, I missed the first few minutes but I am sure you played it for the benefit of your audience but I need to reinforce this. What was the exact term and I heard this video on loop and I was embarrassed not just as a woman okay. but as a bona fide citizen of India. Rahul Gandhi said, Are main Varanasi gaya tha, Rato, Uttar Pradesh mein tha. Waha ki jo janta hai, waha ke jo ye yuma hai, wo sarap par leet gaye, sharaab pee kar, raat ko jor se music baj raha tha, log sharaab pee kar, nashe me dhuk, road par leet gaye, naach rahe the, waha ek taraf Amitabh Bachchan dance maarta hai, dousri taraf Aishwarya Rai naachti hai, bhaiyo, jab Ram Mandir, one minute, bhaiyo, jab Ram Mandir khulta hai, aapne Ram Mandir me kisi Dalit ko dekha, kisi OBC ko dekha, nahi, waha Ambani tha, waha Adani tha, aray bhai sahab, 5 lakh people on an average have been visiting the Ram Mandir since the Pran Pratishtha on 22nd January 2024. Are you telling all these 5 lakh people are Ambani's and Adani's? None okay. of them is a Dalit, none of them is an Adivasi, none of them Let is an me. OBC? What is Rahul Gandhi smoking exactly? Okay. What kind of weed is he smoking? Okay, that's, that's, the, that's the response coming in. Varis Pathan Sahab, fundamental question. You know, virtue is being made out of prohibition. Now, I want you to listen to this statistic in Bihar and this is something that we must all reflect over. In Bihar, the highest proportion of drinking illicitly distilled liquor, viewers, is in Bihar 30 percent. Imagine the number of people dying because of this moral outrage over the serving of alcohol. 
Just think about it, viewers. That's the bigger crime. That's really the bigger crime. But Varis Pathan Saab, I want to ask you, what do you make of Rahul Gandhi's attacks on Ashwarya Rai, on, on the people of the youth of Kashi and Uttar Pradesh? Nasheri hain, Sharabi hain. When he says this, what do you make as a politician? Well, I'll, I'll answer to your question also. What to say about the Congress, Rahul? Now, what remains about the Congress before the entire nation, they are fully exposed. Their sitting MLA from Mumbai, who was the youth president, whose father served the Congress for 48 years, who worked with Rahul, Rajiv Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi, everybody, and who left the Congress party just recently citing reasons. His son, the sitting MLA, holds a press conference and clearly says that Congress is anti-Muslims. What, what is left then? Sitting MLA clearly says that how Muslims are ill-treated by the Congress party. Not only that, if he is a Muslim, he is told to lose 10 kilograms of weight if he wants to meet Rahul Gandhi. There are so many several senior leaders who have more weight than that young boy. I would call him a young boy. How can this be tolerated? And what happens to the Congress? They take 90% of the Muslim vote in the name of secularism. They want the entire Muslim community to vote for them. They take the vote in their kitty and after some time they go and join the BJP. So you are saying call the us hypocrites. The of the BJP, Rahul. They so, threaten so the you're people saying, you're that saying if you vote for the MIM, BJP will win. Nee, Pathan Saab, you are saying therefore Greatest that the Congress is say. hypocritical. Okay, okay. Well, one second, because viewers. Their own, their own MLA sitting MLA I will, saying, Gulam I will, I will be taking up. I will uh, be taking Salman up that Kursi story. Said that in just two the minutes. Congress is exposed. No, no. I will be Udaya taking up. We are going to do. Raul. We are going to do an entire yeah. show on that story in just two minutes, Varis Bhai. But what you are saying basically is that don't trust okay. the Congress, Mr. Jindal. That's the message. Mr. Sujat Ali is also here. Sujat Bhai, I will come to you in two minutes. Mein aata Jindal Saab se jara is pe hum ek response lete hain. This is a pop, this is a party from the opposition AIM who says to you that you are a hypocritical party. Mr. Jindal and certainly after the arguments you have made, I will accuse you of that unless you take one firm position that Mr. Kejriwal in both Punjab and in most importantly Delhi because you feel that it is wrong, immoral to collect money. The state should not be collecting money from excise, sales on liquor. You should ban the sale in Punjab and Delhi. You answer this question. If you are not a hypocrite, you will answer it truly and honestly by putting your hand on your heart and saying, I believe that the sale should be banned. Say it. Rahul, first of all, I would uh, like to uh, tell you that I do not take whatever Varis Pathan uh, is uh, calling for Congress because in Haryana there is a saying, Chor Chor Mosere Vai. If you talk about BJP and AIMIM, they are two sides of the same coin. And whatever they say, and their entire agenda is based upon communal lines. So these are not the political parties from whom we need any form of uh, feedback or certification. Hmm. Second, saab ko ye jake Hmm. No, no. Secondly, hmm. when you are talking about Arvind hmm. Kejriwal, yes. Ji in Delhi and Punjab, hmm. so I want to be very clear hmm. that I do not support any form of promotion of liquor hmm. because it destroys the youth. Right. With respect to a fundamental right of what a person wants to eat or how he wants to live a life, hmm. a person has certain form of a freedom for it, hmm. which the constitution allows, and the person can pursue it. Hmm. However, Whenever state indulges in promotion of mm. such uh, products which are dangerous for the youth as well as their families, mm. it is immoral. It is it immoral. Is so therefore, I want to ask you, why doesn't Rahul Gandhi, so hang on, then why doesn't yeah. Rahul Gandhi yeah. come to New Delhi, stand Absolutely. in the New Delhi constituency, stand in the New Delhi constituency or even in Kerala where he comes from, why not, and say, that the state governments here are wrong to sell alcohol. Why doesn't he say this? Inko sirf kashi mein nasheri dikte hain. Dilli mein nahi dikte hain inko. Vainad mein nahi dikte hain inko. Rahul, the Congress party is believes in Gandhian ideology. Mahatma Gandhi, who always stood 
You believe in Gandhian ideology, do you? Yes, absolutely. So then can I ask you a question? Gandhiji also when? said that beef should not be consumed in this country, neither should it be sold, it should be banned completely. So I want to ask you, why does the con Congress then say in the Northeast, beef should be allowed? Vahapar, beef is yummy and in other parts it's mummy. Why does the Congress say this? Why doesn't the Congress come out? Why did the Congress support? No, let me ask you then. Why did the yes, Congress yes. support the agitation by NC, PDP and independent members of the erstwhile Srinagar Assembly, Kashmir Assembly, when they came out and violated the beef ban? I want to ask you this, sir. Yes, yes, certainly. Huh, See, Rao, there is a difference between uh, the, the government implementing direct... No, 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 I am asking you, sir. You said you believe in Gandhian ideology and it should be implemented. Why are you picking and choosing? What about Gandhi you want to... Again, hypocrisy viewers. I think the only honest person on this entire, on this entire panel today is Lokesh Jindal. Look how honest he is to himself. But dishonest completely, viewers, to you. Can contest me. But tell me whether I am wrong. The directive principle of the state policy requires every state to prevent cruelty against animals. Sir, I am asking you a question. Are you in favor of the sale and consumption of beef that Mahatma Gandhi did not like? In fact, he attacked even Mr. Savarkar for consuming beef. I want to ask you this. Well, Rahul, personally... No, not I say personally. I am talking about your party. You represent the Congress. I am asking you. Why Even doesn't the Congress, why doesn't the Congress that is so Gandhian, then why, uh, why do you then encourage the consumption of beef in consonance with the right to freedom of expression and choice? Why do you do that, sir? Tell me one thing, why are which legal provision we are to no, tell people what no, to eat? No, 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 by which, by which legal provision are you going to tell the people in, in Punjab, in Kerala, in Delhi not to consume alcohol? What, 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 what are we doing here tonight, viewers? We are getting, we are getting completely, completely spun around. I don't know. I don't know Can what. Can I just take 10 seconds? Yeah, okay, 10 seconds. I need to move on to the other big story. I'm, I'm quite flabbergasted, flummoxed. I'm everything tonight. I think I'll okay. need a drink to sort uh, myself out. You did not have Amul I buttermilk or any of the other intoxicating variety. But anyway, you know, I will just take 10 seconds now, please. Lokesh, we heard you. I heard your monologue. Please bear with me. Very quickly, you know, Rahul, Lokesh said that the BJP is peddling the politics of communalization and that the BJP. Uh, place to the gallery on a polarizing narrative. So, let's not even talk about the Hashimpura riots of 1987 when Muslims were killed under the Congress watch. Let's not talk about the Bhagalpur riots of 1989 when Muslims were killed en masse under the Congress watch. But even in recent times, be it the 2006 Aligarh riots, the 2008 Dhule riots, the 2010 Deganga riots in North 24 Parganas, the 2011 Bharatpur riots, or the 2012 riots in Kokrajhar in Assam, or the 2013 Muzaffarnagar riots in Uttar Pradesh. All these riots were under the Congress's watch, where Hindus were mercilessly brutalized to appease well, a certain community. Okay, so, let's so, don't give me bhashan. Okay, so, so let me tell you, viewers, uh, let's move into the next debate, because there is a segue, and Sujat Bhai, I'm going to come to you first. I'm going to just move into the next debate, because... We have already begun to touch upon those issues, which is hypocrisy of the Congress party and viewers. I barely drink. I am almost a teetotaler, but after hearing what uh, Mr. Jindal has said, I think I'll have to stick to the bottle because otherwise I'm going to be addled for life. I, something is going to break with me. But nonetheless, there's